Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. Deontay Wilder has addressed his fans on social media regarding his split decision draw with Tyson Fury. So the two battled it out Saturday 1st of December at the Staples Centre. One judge ruled in favour of Wilder, one for Fury, and the British judge Phil Edwards called it a draw 113 even. Obviously the result, it's got a lot of people up in arms, uh, some for Wilder, quite a few for Fury. A lot of people are talking about this fight and for quite a number of reasons. Fury has come back, Wilder has punching power, was there a long count and how did Fury get up from that punch in the 12th round? He looked knocked out. But what I'll do is I'll uh, get to the statement and then some thoughts. And, and I do intend this video to effectively be the last word from me on the Deontay Wilder side of this fight. I still am intending to do one more for Tyson Fury. More about the uh, a couple of things I've been thinking about in terms of the credit that he's gotten from this fight. Some of the credit that he previously didn't get against Vladimir Klitschko. So that'll be in the next day or two. But in terms of this one, yeah, I saw the post. It was just after a recent video that I did and I thought, actually, I want to weigh in on this. So we'll go through the comment and then some thoughts. So Deontay Wilder says on Instagram, and this is also on his other platforms, Thanks to the city of Los Angeles, Staples Center, Showtime Boxing, and all the fans around the world that supported this David vs. Goliath fight. Which was which, actually? I mean, wasn't it more like Goliath vs. Goliath? Um, anyway, it's an amazing fight, and I wanted nothing but greatness to come from this. The fight lived up to the hype more than ever. When you put the best against the best, exciting things happen. I take nothing away from this fight, but we won this fight. To beat the champion, you must dominate the champ, and to me, I was the more aggressive fighter and landed the more effective punches. You saw the best hashtag Fury, but you did not get the best hashtag Wilder, and I still managed to get the job done. This event brought more pressure than I expected. I just wanted the best for boxing here in America and boxing in general and which led me to get overly anxious to knock his head off, so I abandoned the game plan. Did the count start at 3 or 4 seconds, too late, or was the count too long is the question many are asking and debating about. The ref, Jack Reese is an amazing ref in which I've had the pleasure to work with on several occasions, and he did a great job at the end of the day. Hashtag boxing wins. The hashtag fans are the real winner, and I can't wait for Wilder Fury 2 to end the controversial talk around the world once and for all. Love, love, love to all my fans. Blessings, and see you guys again soon. Champ. And then, you know, number of hashtags and at people and whatnot. Okay, so what I'll do is I will start at the beginning. Number of things to unpack here, get a, get our teeth into. And as I said, this is kind of some of the last word that I want to have on this. Um, as you can see, though, down the bottom here, 90-odd thousand likes in just under an hour. Certainly, Deontay Wilder's popularity has come a long way in the last 12 to 18 months. You know, prior to that, when he was fighting the likes of Ariola, Washington, you know, that sort of, uh, you know, Spilka, Molina... His popularity wasn't where it needed to be as a heavyweight champion, but fighting the, the likes of Luis Ortiz and now Tyson Fury, he certainly got himself to a place that he always wanted to be. Maybe it wasn't quite the coming out party in terms of stopping Fury getting that win, because obviously that is what he wanted at first and foremost. He almost got there. He was seconds away. But his popularity is where it's never been before. You know, Deontay Wilder is a star in boxing now. He's fought a pay-per-view event. He wanted to get to that hurdle. He wanted to have something like that to be able to sort of say, I'm a star in boxing. He wants credit, his due respect. He's spoken about this sort of stuff time and time again. And recently when he said, you know, he didn't need to have a high profile and some of these other sort of comments, I didn't believe him for a second because he's been thirsting for the attention. He wants to be loved, clearly wants to be loved, wants to be adored by fans. He's starting to get some of that. Fury fight maybe didn't put him over the top where he would have liked to have been, but he still comes out of this, he's still got his belt, it's a massive bargaining chip, and he's got options in terms of his next fights. But in terms of these comments, um, an amazing fight, the, the fight lived up to the hype more than ever. And this fight, it did live up to the hype, it really did. I think, you know, it can't be overstated, uh, there were a lot of fans 
who just didn't know what to expect and quite a few of them were saying that this was going to be boring it was going to be a stinker a snooze fest i mean all those people have just evaporated into the ether after this fight has occurred it was much better than advertised we just didn't know what sort of tyson fury would show up he showed up and he gave deontay wilder the fight that deontay wilder said he wanted uh, when you put the best against the best exciting things happen i mean some some people will take that to be that it's a potential dig at anthony joshua because he's been wanting to face joshua but so has joshua been wanting to face wilder they haven't been able to get the deal done over the negotiating table and uh, joshua i mean there is this narrative among some fans he's not fighting anybody but that's clearly patently incorrect he's been fighting guys like alexander povetkin joseph parker guys deontay wilder has said he wanted to fight and wilder almost fought joseph parker they got close to making a deal wasn't enough money in there for a unification fight he almost fought povetkin in russia but obviously we know a ped case for alexander povetkin put paid to that but in terms of um, to beat the champion you must dominate the champion and to me i was the more aggressive fighter and landed the more effective punches and certainly you can sort of finesse this a couple of ways depending on how you saw the fight i think you know there is that old adage you have to dominate the champ but in most of the rounds tyson fury was the guy for me at least who was outboxing wilder he was the one doing a bit more every round and I guess, you know, you could say if he was nicking the rounds, was that enough to beat the champ? Especially when you throw in these two knockdowns. I had Tyson Fury winning. But in terms of landing the, the more effective punches, well, the CompuBox stats show that Fury landed more punches in pretty much all the categories at a higher percentage. Deontay Wilder was throwing a lot of punches and he was missing a lot of punches. He didn't land as many power punches as Tyson Fury. So you can potentially argue the effective case because Tyson Fury was proving more effective at landing on Wilder. But clearly Wilder's power gave him an edge to put Fury down two times in the fight. But for most of the rest of the fight, you know, Wilder coming forward, and he wasn't coming forward the whole fight, coming forward and missing a lot, made to look silly at times. And Tyson Fury on occasion was backing him up and Deontay Wilder was going backwards. So, you know, I mean, you can, depending on how you saw the fight is, you know, who you're going to give more credit to in terms of some of the way you scored the fight. Um, you saw the best Fury, but you did not get the best Wilder, and I still managed to get the job done. Um, I'm not sure if we saw the best Fury because a majority of fans, or a lot of fans, maybe a majority of fans thought that Tyson Fury was coming in underdone, that two fights in, that it was too soon, that maybe mid next year would have been a better time for this fight for tyson fury so i'm not sure that we did see the best fury but did we see the best wilder deontay wilder said he is the best fighter in the world that we he would give the best performance he's saying here that um the pressure got to him the event brought more pressure than i expected i got overly uh overly anxious to knock his head off so i abandoned the game plan he is saying he was overawed in there. The occasion got to him and he couldn't do what he wanted to do. And when he was trying to get the knockout, it wasn't coming. What he was trying to do wasn't working. And as we saw, most of the fight, he was swinging and missing. So, I mean, you would have to say, can Deontay Wilder come in better next time? Well, can he execute a game plan? I mean, he showed in that fight he's limited technically. I mean, he can do some things well, but he went away from the body punching. He went away from the jabs. And early on, those were some of the punches that actually looked quite good for Deontay Wilder. He actually looked good when he was trying to work Tyson Fury to the body. Bigger target, easier to hit. I thought Deontay Wilder was going to be doing that all night, but clearly fell in love with the right hand, as he says, tried to knock him out, tried too hard, couldn't get it done. But have we seen the best Wilder? I just don't know if he is any more than he was in that fight. I think Tyson Fury will be better next time. Maybe Wilder can be more disciplined, but if they have a rematch and Fury's better, and even if Wilder's better, that might nullify itself anyway, and we might see a similar fight to the one that's just played out. You have to wonder. And he says here that I can't wait for Wilder Fury 2. Is that an indication that the rematch will be the next thing, the immediate next thing? have to wonder 
We've got Eddie Hearn in Los Angeles talking to Deontay Wilder's people, representatives. He's over there talking to someone about setting up an Anthony Joshua fight for April. But, you know, Wilder Fury too. I think a lot of people are wanting to see that fight. I want to see that fight. I think it would be a much bigger event. I mean, if we can put aside the controversy with the scoring and such for a moment, in terms of the occasion, the spectacle, that fight, it did deliver. Deontay Wilder is right. It lived up to the hype. Can it happen again? Can they deliver a second time? Could the styles again gel for another good fight? Or will Tyson Fury, will he fight differently? Will he be more defensive? Uh, will he be able to take it to Deontay Wilder? Will Wilder be able to be more accurate with his shots? Follow a game plan. There's lots of variables and we, we just don't know how it would shake down. We just don't know if it will shake down because who knows? Wilder could face Joshua next. But Wilder Fury 2, I can see it. I can see it happening eventually. I don't know if it's next. I'd like it to be next, but who knows? What do you make of it all? Drop a comment, loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.